Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I would like to talk about cold soaking option if you're on a ketogenic diet uh, while on the trail and uh, also if uh, while on the trail you want to have more fats in, the, in your diet, this will work as well for you. So this recipe is easily put in a little baggies uh, or Ziploc bag that you can put in your uh, stash. A lot of it is dry ingredients. So uh, you can see the area of uh, ingredients right now, but the uh, most essential, because this recipe can be changed to your likings, but the, mo the two most important ones are the chia seeds and the hemp hearts. So uh, in regards to the hemp hearts, what I do is I take three tablespoons of this, and uh, this is uh, at three tablespoons, it goes to, uh, it's actually zero net carbs, uh, but gives you 15 grams of fat. And in regards to the chia seed, I do one tablespoon. And for 1.5 tablespoon in the chia seeds, you have one net carb. So this is the start of it. And then for fats on this one, you would have 4.5. Now, once you have that base, you can extrapolate to your likings. So in my case, I like to put uh, a protein powder. So mine is vanilla. Depending on what type of, uh, of uh, protein powder you find, I know there's cookie dough out there. There's, there's a, a, a lot of uh, type of protein powder you can put in there. But mine being vanilla, I like to make myself like a double chocolate vanilla. And um, so I will add the cocoa powder and also the cacao nibs so those are going to be the other ingredients that i'm going to put in mine and i'm going to sweeten everything with monk fruit now as far as net carb goes uh, for those ingredients this one sits at four net carbs uh, the cocoa sits at one net carb um, the this one here is at three the cacao nibs at three net carbs and the protein powder sits at two net carbs. So what I do from here is first, I'll get my Ziploc bag. Uh, so before I go on trail, uh, I'll just get a reusable Ziploc bag and I will put all my ingredients in this. Now for the sake of this video, I'll just use the jar I use on trail. So what I would do is get all my dry ingredients, put that in my jar and then I'm good to go. So. In that regard, I have three tablespoons of hemp hearts. I've got one tablespoon of chia seeds. To this, I will add a half a tablespoon of cocoa. I'll also add half tablespoon of cacao nibs. And I'll take a full tablespoon of the protein powder. Now, as far as sweetness go, uh, I like to do only a half, uh, sorry, uh, a teaspoon, a full teaspoon of the uh, monk fruit. This can be adjusted to your likings. So all those dry ingredients, we actually create the base, uh, the dry base. So this is what I would have in my Ziploc bag when I drop it in there. At this point is where you add the non-dry ingredients. And you can see here you have a choice of like coconut oil, uh, peanut butter, or MCT. So when I'm at home, uh, what I usually do, I also add yogurt in, in here at, at home and I use uh, uh, coffee cream as well in there. But when you're on trail, <clears throat> so I know some people uh, use like uh, coconut oil in little packets. Uh, you can get them from Trader Joe's if you're in the States. You can also order them online. So that would be a good item to put in here. So for this video, since I don't want to open or waste the packet, I'll just use a little scoop that would be in a packet and just add that in there. I also like to add uh, peanut butter. Now, I know some people might argue in the ketogenic uh, diet that uh, this is not ideal peanut butter. Uh, I use this one 
because when you're on trail, it's easy to get those little container, either the craft ones or uh, the GIFs uh, are really easy to, to get access to. So once again, I'll just get a scoop of that, put it in the jar, and then you can add some MCT oil. So once again, you can either carry your smaller bottle, uh, since I'm at home right now, I'll just use from the main bottle. And then at home, when I, what I, what I use is uh, coffee cream, but on trail, I'll just use water. And then you go, uh, like you, you add a little bit and then you're gonna stir it to see how much, uh, how dry it is. And you want something that's fairly liquid because the chia seeds are gonna uh, expand. So if you have something that's fairly liquid, it's gonna get into kind of a pudding. And there you go. So now you can put the lid back on it and you can put that back in your pack in 15 minutes or half hour. You can also do this at night and put it in your bear bag and hang it. Um, so it's gonna be ready for the morning. Uh, I've done coffee in it as well. Like if you if you want the, you want to do it in the morning, 15 minutes, you put some warm coffee in it. That's another option. So it's not cold soap, but it's it's warm. So uh, there's fairly a, a quite a bit of options in regards to this. So 15 minutes, uh, you keep walking, you get back to camp, and then you set your tent. You can sit and eat this. Uh, it's a great, cold soap uh, you can obviously add more but like I I have that as a breakfast most times and this quantity like fills me up for uh, uh, till, till lunch basically uh, sometimes a little bit more so at this point this will give you about 60 grams of fat for about 10 grams of net carbs so uh, it's a 1 to 6 uh, ratio with the ingredients that I just showed you uh, like I mentioned earlier, you can change pretty much everything from it. Like if you carry stevia, it's easier to do stevia than the monk fruit or uh, whatever your preferences in uh, in uh, condiments is. Like I have a double chocolate here, but I've seen people do vanilla, cookie dough. Uh, so this is a great option while out on the trail. It's easy to stop and just mix it and keep walking. So let me know in the comment section below what you think your ingredients are going to be because uh, I would like to try uh, other ones. Uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, to the channel, like this video. Uh, once again, my name is Tommy Ovington. I love hiking and this is my cold soaking video for a ketogenic diet.